Uh, this video tutorial is to show you how to use the intramuscular and the subcutaneous injections and to illustrate the techniques with, uh, used with both techniques or uh, methods. So we'll begin with checking the doctor's order and uh, checking the patient name and age. Uh, good morning, uh, my name is Abdel Adil. I'm a medical student. Uh, can I have your name and age, please? Okay, good. Uh, so today I need to inject uh, medications uh, into your muscles and under the skin. Would that be okay with you? Okay, good. Um, then we'll uh, uh, wash our hands and uh, wear the gloves. Uh, so after we've washed our hands and worn the gloves, uh, we make sure we have all the equipment. We have the syringes. We have uh, the 23 gauge needle for the intramuscular injection. Uh, we have the 25 uh, gauge needle for the uh, subcutaneous injection. We have a uh, vial, an ampule. Uh, we have the alcohol swabs and the sharp container. So we'll begin with the intramuscular uh, injection. Uh, we first attach the uh, 23 gauge needle to the syringe. Uh, and then we go to determine the site. Uh, after we attach the needle to the syringe, uh, we make sure that uh, the area is clean. And then uh, we wipe it with, uh, with the alcohol swab uh, for three times in a circular motion. Uh, we let it dry. Then we aspirate air into the syringe for the same amount uh, uh, we need to, uh, to inject. So this is the vial, we inject the air inside, then we get the same amount we injected air inside, okay, this is good. So for the deltoid muscle we go uh, three fingers below the crown in the process, uh, we use the Z-Track uh, technique for the intramuscular injections, so we uh, put uh, we stretch the skin just a little bit, uh, we, and then we inject quickly to, uh, to reduce the pain. Uh, we aspirate just a little bit so that we can make sure that we are not in a blood vessel. Okay, we're good. Then we inject the medication slowly. Then we wait for uh, 10 seconds. Then we throw the needle. And then uh, we can release the non-dominant hand. And then we wipe the area again and put a plaster if needed. Uh, and for the dorsal glacier region, we determine the side first. We go for the uh, upper outer quadrant of the buttocks. Uh, we do the very same thing. Uh, we wipe the area three times in a circular motion. And uh, we take the injection, we, uh, we do uh, the Z-Track technique also. We stretch the skin just a little bit. We inject at a 90 degree angle quickly to reduce the pain. We aspirate just a little bit so that we can make sure we're not in blood vessel, so we're good. Then we inject the uh, medication slowly. Uh, we wait for 10 seconds. Then we withdraw uh, the needle. We can uh, remove the uh, non-dominant hand. And then we wipe it again with the alcohol swap and put a plaster if needed. Uh, and for the subcutaneous injections, uh, we use the uh, 25 gauge needle. We attach it and we do the very same thing. Uh, we make sure that the area is also clean. And when uh, we wipe it, uh, with the alcohol swab for three times. And here uh, we don't uh, need to use the Z-Track technique. We just um, uh, pinch the skin to make a fold. Then we go uh, for a 90 degree angle, we inject uh, quickly. And we don't need here to aspirate. We inject uh, directly. Then uh, we release uh, the skin and the needle. And wipe it again, uh, we don't need uh, to put a plaster as well. Uh, then uh, we thank the patient, so uh, thank you very much for your uh, cooperation. And we discard all the needles and the uh, syringes.